guys, I'm back. I'm with Krista today, and I don't need to be in the thing. Show it, Krista. I'll do what the beauty bloggers do and do the. Isn't that a beautiful palette, ladies and yes. gentlemen? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a really cool um, eye with this palette, and um, I picked Krista as my model because. These are colors that are going to look really good with her eyes. Uh, she has like a bluish green tint to her eyeballs. Mm -hmm. So these shades are going to be perfect with her eyeballs. So <clears throat> a little trick of the trade is to make sure that you prime your eyes first. I already primed her eyes with this Clinique lid primer and it is in the shade Bit O Honey. Lovely. And now I'm going to take the um, same bronzer that I used to bronze her face and I'm going to actually use this as her contour shade. So um, go ahead and close your eyes. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to kind of contour your eyes, so to speak. So you're going to carve out your crease and uh, using the bronzer that you use on your face will kind of just make it kind of more cohesively go to be together better. And um, I'm using a fluffy crease brush. This is borrowed from a friend. She says she got it at Walmart. This is the Royal and Lang Nickel Crease and Smudger. That does sound Canadian. Sounds Canadian. It's not. There's a it's Canadian not. conspiracy uh, going on. Are you on. sure you bought it in America? I did. You did not. I did so. I never uh, seen that brand at Wally World. I there, it there's too. a crown on it. So it's got to be Canadian. I'm telling you. It's regal. Yeah, it's it? regal, like for Canadian. It's regal. It's you gotta know, be because you guys are the queen and stuff. Yeah. Don't I don't know, my friends. This is Canadian, eh? Not Canadian. <laughs> it's okay, because Michelle was born in Canada, so we're good. I'm Canada. I'm Canadian. I'm, can I'm Canada, too. <laughs> <laughs> this channel is Canada friendly. <laughs> Chris is just along for the Canadian ride. Yeah, I'm a German-American, so, you know. You're just here for the maple syrup and the bacon. Oh, no, she's so here for true. the chocolate. Yeah, Yeah, I'm, I'm here for the Kit Kats and the Coffee Crisp. Definitely the coffee. And the Tim Hortons. And the Joe Louis. Oh my god, those are so good. And the Giant Tiger. Giant Tiger! <laughs> or as I like to call it, El Tigre Gigante. <laughs> Which is not Canadian. No, that's actually Spanish. So after you get done buffing out your crease, make sure it's so dirty. It does. I don't know if I <laughs> make sure that it's all blended and that you've also brought a little V down onto the lid. That's another way to just very easily make everything look together. It almost looks like we could be done if we wanted yeah. to be. But we're no, not. I want more. Definitely. The fluffier the crease brush, the easier it is to blend and the less control that you have, which is exactly what you want. So make sure that you have a nice fluffy brush like this when you're blending. Okay. I'm using this lovely Natasha Denona palette. And we're going to start with this lovely burgundy shade right here. And I'm going to also take this on my crease brush and I'm going to carve out more of the crease with this. These shades are very pigmented. A little bit goes a very long way. So just make sure that when you're putting it onto the brush, you're only dabbling in it just a tiny bit. I like these also because there's not a lot of fallout. So I can really build this color up and work with darker shades and I don't have to worry about it falling out onto her lids or onto her face. And it's just awesome. Well, it better be for $48, that's all I have to say. So <clears throat> I'm going to also take that same burgundy shade on the smudger end of this brush and I'm going to go underneath the eye. So for this part, you're going to want to do chin down. There you go. How's your crack? Contact you know Back 
Okay, so now I'm gonna use a little bit of this rose gold shade right here on a fluffy creaser. And you're gonna close her. And I'm gonna put this all in the middle and I'm gonna blend it to the sides. Why? It's gonna just kind of give you, <laughs> why? Why are you doing it? Um, I'm just kind of, cause she wants to. I just, I just want to, yeah. Um, I'm just helping with the blending and I want to make it warmer. Mm-hmm. With the rose golds and the burgundy, it looks like a sunset almost. It does. They should call it the sunset palette. I think that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. You can call your congressman a complaint. I will. I'll call, that I'll right call my prime minister. Yeah, dude. Canandia. My prime minister is hot. We haven't had a jerky prime minister in a while. Our president is a Cheeto. <sighs> We're all gonna get deported now. Thanks a lot, Krista. You're welcome. So now I'm adding that same burgundy shade as a liner and the on the base of her lid close to her lash line. And I'm just buffing it out as I put it on so it's not too stark. Okay, so now I'm adding the money maker Ooh. with my finger because it blends a lot easier because it's super shimmery, which is this one right here. And I'm putting it right in the middle of her lid. If you can't get it to blend, which I probably could, I just Krista wears contacts, so I just don't want it to be uncomfortable. <laughs> so I'm just I just use the my my fluffy crease brush to spread it out a bit. So for the last step, I'm gonna add this super shimmery gold right in the inner corner. I have cool? a hard time doing inner corner because I have a fold, a picanthial fold on one eye. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes for me. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. Yeah. And if you, um, if you just put it on with your smudger brush, or with your, well, you can use a smudger or your mm -hmm. fluffy crease brush. Yeah. And then you can just blend it out really okay. however you want to. Perfect. So we're gonna add for the last step. We're gonna add some mascara to make her eyes pop more. <laughs> Which ones did you like, Krista? The new Tarte Sweatproof Mascara. I think it's meant for people who work out and want to wear mascara because it's sweatproof and it's brown, so it doesn't, you know, make a huge statement. Why Got would it. you wear mascara while working out? You would be surprised. No, the gym no. I go to, people dress to the nines. Their beast your head right Their hooters are up and out. Really? Mm-hmm. They wear the tight little pants and they sashay past the muscle bound freaks oh. and the gorilla juice heads. She has pretty eye brows and eye eyelids and eyelids. <laughs> Cause you have eyelids. I have like little Well you've got a hooded eye. Yeah. Yeah. I just have giant. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> That's the finished look guys, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you recreate it, tag me, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.